Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here with a quick video talking a little bit about what could be the future of the Xbox store with an app that was codenamed Mercury that accidentally leaked a couple of days ago. And I was able to get my hands on it and install it onto my PC and I'll be taking you through some of the available features. But obviously everything in this video could change in the future and none of this is locked in or officially confirmed yet. Personally, if I had to guess, I think this is the store that will probably launch alongside the Series X console later this year, but that's just my opinion. What you see on screen is the app running on a Windows 10 PC, but being controlled with an Xbox One controller. Originally, this information came out through a Twitter post from a user at Win Community. I'll leave a link to their Twitter down below if you want to learn a little bit more of the origins. Now, the Xbox Store has remained largely unchanged since the initial release of the Xbox One, and although it was fine for a few years, in my opinion, this is a long overdue overhaul, and this is something that I've personally been waiting for for years. In its current state, the Xbox Store is hard to use, extremely inefficient, and lacks a lot of features that I think many users would like. So right away off the bat, you can notice that while browsing through the new Mercury app, the entire store is completely overhauled from a visual standpoint. It looks completely different, and it looks a lot more closely related to the current Xbox app on the PC than it does to the store on the actual console. On the left hand side you'll notice that there is a bar that you can expand to quickly jump between categories and then within some categories there are also subcategories so you can get into the screen you want to get to more quickly. Now personally one of my favorite changes comes when you actually click on a game. We'll use Call of Duty Modern Warfare as our example. Here you can decide to buy the game or my new favorite option is to choose the edition. When clicking here, you'll be brought to a new screen that shows all the available editions of the game as well as what each one comes with in a very obvious and intuitive way. And I think this is incredibly important because when a game like Forza Horizon launches with four different versions, it can be very hard to tell which version has what and what exactly you're paying for. With this system, you can see them all side by side and scroll through each of the content packs that each edition will come with. Now, obviously that option is only gonna show up for games with multiple editions. So let's go to a game like Ori and the Will of the Wisps instead. And you'll notice that some things are a little bit different here. I own the game so I can install it. I can also buy it to own it or add it to my wish list. And in the bottom right hand corner, I'll also see a badge that this game is available on Xbox Game Pass. And this badge will show up for any game that you can install through that service, assuming you have a subscription. Additionally, you can use the left and right bumper on this landing page in order to look at a list of some of your friends who have played this game. You can also scroll up to see the trailer. However, I wasn't able to get any of the trailers to work. I don't know if these are just temporary trailers as they are testing this new store, but you can also scroll down and another one of my favorite changes is this screen right here the details page with tabs that separate the different things you might want to look for. You can go through a description, you can go through some of the features, more importantly for a lot of people the capabilities like whether the game supports HDR or is Xbox One X enhanced, and you can go through more information. I think this is going to be very useful to find what you're looking for more quickly than with the current system. You can also go through some of the videos, although neither one of these videos seem to work for more than one or two seconds. And you can also see ratings and reviews. So Ori and the Will of the Wisps seems to have a 4.3 out of 5. And you can read through some of those user reviews. And you can look through games that people also like. So games like Ori and the Blind Forest obviously are applicable here, as well as some other puzzle games. Next up, what I'm going to do is go to the search feature. And right away at the top, you'll notice everything that's trending. These are probably the six most popular things that people search for. It's going to be a useful thing to have for the majority of Xbox users. Next, we'll search for the term Halo. So when you search for Halo at the top, you can see that there are different categories, hardware, apps, TV, movies, games, and add-ons. And then you can either go through those or you can scroll down and look through uh, each individual kind of category and look through each individual content piece. Now, I don't think many people would do this, but this 
uh, action is available for those who are interested. Instead, I would imagine if you are looking for a game and that game is Halo, you would go to the game category and then you would probably press X to see all and you would be brought to this page, which is a list of all of the games that return the result for Halo. You'll see games like Gears 5 that don't really belong here, but it's probably because they mention Halo in the description, and games like Murder Miners, which also have the word Halo in their description. You can also do something really cool here, which is press X in order to filter this screen, and you'll be brought to a bunch of options, including what genre that game is in, what the number of players you can use. So for example, you can find single player only games or online only games. You can go to the capabilities and search for games that are 4K, for example. You can search for games that are teen rated if you for whatever reason want to do that. And you can also search for games that are in a certain price category. And you can mix and match these filters or even sort by different uh, parameters using that screen, which I think is really cool and really important for navigating the store when searching for certain items or when trying to discover certain games. So that's what you can do on that screen. You can also back up and in the top uh, right corner, you can also see a button that says quick actions. But for me, this doesn't do anything. It just basically essentially crashes my app. And that was all of the things I was able to find and discover in this new Mercury app that hopefully will one day become the new Xbox store. Thank you so much for hopping on board with me during this quick tour. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like, share this video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone for supporting the show on Patreon, including Mr. Hippo11 and William Seaman. Hopefully I see you guys soon. Peace.